I started the day by the medley team track by FEC's Hylia Yard. Team tracking is an efficient way to offer cars to be unloaded or loaded at a centralized location. These are going to be loaded with waste oil from Ricky's Oil. And on the FEC, something is coming in to Hylia Yard. This location is fairly unique in that it is one of several spots that allow you to see both FEC trains and Metrorail trains in the same frame. Metrorail heading east on the left hand side is coming from the Palmetto Station. This train is the FEC 1215 yard job. The yard jobs in Hialeah generally go by the call time for the train's crew. The 1215 is shuttling loaded rock from Medley Yard to Hialeah Yard so that these could be on the head end of train 202 going to Jacksonville. It's typically a coin toss whether this train sees daylight or not, but evidently a lot of things are late on the FEC making this the perfect morning to test out my brand new Canon DM100 external microphone. Expect a slight difference in audio quality on the videos going forward. So a lot of you folks have been asking me, what is that tanker thing between the two FEC locomotives and the mainline consist? To answer your question, that is a liquefied natural gas tender. The liquefied natural gas is pretty much produced at this location. New Fortress has a LNG facility by Hylia Yard. And it is also a very nice place to watch trains moving in and out of the Medley lead. Just be wary of the trucks coming in and out of the FEC TOFC terminal. In the mid-2000s, FEC built a new connection track from the Medley lead, shown here, to the mainline exiting Hylia Yard, commonly known as the single track, allowing trains like 335 to have a much easier time running to or from Medley to points north on the mainline. FEC has a very interesting nomenclature for certain things related to the railroad, enough so that I will definitely make a video on it someday. And for this, they call 336 and 335 the unit train. For as long as I can ever remember, CMEX dedicated a unit train from their Medley quarry to the CMEX distribution center in City Point. They would use dedicated hoppers, but that has given way to the FEC's regular fleet. 
but 335 technically breaks the concept of the unit train, as it has more than the cars headed north on the previous day's 336. These are empties that are brought down by a local, presumably from the new Smyrna Beach area. And also, and this is rewinding back to the first eight cars of the train, they started hauling sand from City Point back down to Miami, similar to how CSX does it from Davenport south to Immaculate. And on most days, 335 also carries a block of international containers for Port Miami on the bottom. But today we're going to be spared that. There was no intermodal on the bottom of the train today. Behind 335 was a really nice tree. FEC train 193 empty Fort Pierce to Miami Rock, running quite late this morning. Usually this train gets to Hialeah around 4 to 5 in the morning, but lately the 292 193 have been running a couple hours later, making this a daylight train. A recent addition to the Rock train fleet here are these white PMRX gondolas. I believe they go north on train 920 somewhere. Also, 193 hauls loaded bleach or hypochlorite solution for allied chemical on the medley leap. I'm kind of glad I dipped a little bit early from 193 because highly are just kicked out the downtown job right as 193's cars were still passing. And of course, knowing Hialeah, the streets are tied up so you gotta get out pretty early. The head four cars are going to be going to Trujillo and Sons, and the remaining of the train is going to be transloaded at Savage Services. So, you know what? It's time to test the audio capabilities of the new microphone in front of Trujillo on the CIS. It was realized either during this B-roll clip or after that the DM100 microphone had been set for shotgun mode capturing more forward audio, so at some point around here I set it to a more surround sound 90 degree range. It can also go up to 120 and frankly 120 might make more sense for a tight area like this where you'll hear sound echoing off of all the building's walls.
Trujillo & Sons is the largest customer on CIS Lead 1, which is the track that the train is shoving on right now. And hidden out of frame behind that truck to the left of the half-white, half-orange building is Vision Canals, which receives paraffin wax by way of the tanker. But it's a little more occasional out there. Presently, the rail surf portion of Trujillo and Sons is split onto two tracks. The left track handles all the boxcar goods such as rice, beans, and grits, and the right hand side includes the oil plant and the packaging plant where they will get tankers and covered hoppers. Most of the work is going to be done on the left track today where they will pull four empty boxcars and spot the four loads that just came in.
downtown job would pull an empty oil tanker from the oil plant side and proceed to work Savage Services, but I did have to head home very soon for work-related matters. So regrettably, I'm going to have to cut it short after the train leaves Trujillo. But there will be more to come, especially having to test his DM100 and more settings. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and I thank you for joining me on this little excursion to Hialeah and the CIS. And I look forward to sharing more with you in the near future, but if you want to see more, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. And meanwhile, while you're at it, please leave a like and feel free to leave a comment. So that being said, take care and until next time. From the CIS near Glade View, Florida, this is TE out.